there. Today's um, episode, I'm going to talk to you about how to clean the or shine the lids, cleaning and shining the lids on a budget. Um, you can go and buy uh, lid shine and um, lid cleaning um, chemical, chemically based organic ones from from shops or garden shops, but. It costs, as you know, to actually keep on buying some of those products. But instead of buying, you can make your own lid clean and shine um, liquid. So here I have got, I've made my own and I have used one litre of just plain tap water. And you can use distilled water if you wish to get really organic. And then I have used just cooking oil, your kitchen, normal cooking oil, vegetable oil, olive oil, or any oil you use in your kitchen. Or you can buy commercially commercial product here called pest oil. Pest oil is really, um, the ingredient in it is just petroleum. So it is organic as far as I can see with the pesto. There's no harm chemical in this particular product. And if you are using pesto oil, um, you will find it's two benefits to your living indoor plants. One of them is it, it shines the leaf. And then secondly, it will keep all the bugs away or kill the bugs if you have got scales, mealybugs, aphids, white fly, um, creatures like that, this one will take control of that if you were to use pest oil. So um, it's, it's a personal preference, whatever you like to use. And here I have homemade um, this particular leaf and shine liquid myself. And I have used water, I have used just general vegetable oil and to give it a fragrance you can either use um, lavender oil, uh, neem oil. Neem oil is pretty good to clean and shine leaves as well because as you know it will keep all the bugs away similar to pest oil. So you can use neem oil, maybe a teaspoonful or something like that or you can if you have got a veggie patch and if you've got mint growing, um, rosemary growing or thyme growing, any type of beautiful smelly herbs in your garden, you can just rub it and literally put it inside this um, spraying can which I have done. I've just collected some mint from my garden and squashed it with my hand and I just dropped it in. It just gives a nice beautiful uh, fragrance or smell when you spray your plants. I have, as you can see, have cleaned one of the plants here and um, it's really come out beautiful, nice and shiny, as you can see. And if you keep doing this often enough on a regular basis, you will find that you can check on the bugs on the leaves, you can check if there's any spider mites, um, underneath the leaves and and also it will keep all the dust away if you clean your leaves often enough and now I'm going to show you how you spray this particular um, plant all I do is generally I should have really had this pumped up and all I do is gently spray it on the leaves. You can also add a bit of one little tiny drop of dishwashing liquid in it so that the oil and the froth of the dishwashing liquid mixes in in this particular liquid. So you can do that, it just makes it easier to to spread it on your leaves if you add a bit of dishwashing liquid but if you don't want to if you don't know what the dishwashing liquid contains please do not use it because it could be more harmful to your leaves than good 
Instead, you can use organic soap plates or something like that, even just a tiny bit. Uh, and as long as it's organic. So what I do, I've just sprayed it and I've got a cheesecloth, very nice soft, gentle cheesecloth, whichever type you like to use. And you just gently wipe it from the top, of course. Clean it from the top because any then drops will get into the next leaf and you just shine it as I am doing it gently. These ones are easy to do because they are tough leaves so it can be, I guess, can be a little bit rougher than softer planted leaves. But gently wipe all of them. And I will stop here, but this is all I do on a regular basis. Front and back. And, and do this leaf cleaning when it's a nice temperature, not too hot. And don't do it in a sunlight. Do it in a shaded area where temperature is good and it will not harm the leaves when you're doing it. And leave it in semi-shade or where there is no sunlight shining onto the leaves. And do dry them because it's important that you do dry the leaves properly. And this is just the homemade leaf shine that I use. But I'm sure there are plenty out on the market that you can go and buy them. But why spend money when you can make it yourself and make it shine just as beautiful as they are? I have nearly finished shining it. So it really doesn't take very long to shine all these leaves. And it just comes out beautiful. How's that? Thank you for watching my video. Bye for now.